And the first thing I'm checking for to make sure it's stable. If it's rocking, then I have to hit the bottom here to make it so that it goes nice and you don't want a wobbly one. Then this wants to be about half an inch, this thread here, from the end. That's about right. And I'm going to screw it tight it with one. The next thing comes is the cash box. Just going to check it, make sure it's not split anywhere. It sits in there nicely. Then comes the plastic house body. This time we're using a dark navy blue. I've already checked it. It's in nice clean condition, not broken, cracked or split. It goes on like that. Then comes the chute shield. Which goes like that and puts and stops and makes sure the capsule goes down that way and comes out. And then the the uh, chute door. And then there's the coin mech. Now I do check these. We put the coin there, the 20 pence coin in there, and check it's going round. Check that all the screws are there, that it's it's come flecking back nicely, it's working nice and it's clean, it's all been cleaned. So that's that ready to go. The next thing is the hopper, the chrome hopper goes on the top. That fits nice and securely, there's nothing wrong with that. Then comes the, the wing, this is the dispensing wing, and it's got numbers on it one to five, so you can set it to uh, give you more or less sweets. And the lower the setting, the more sweets you get. So when I set it, that's set at one. But if I wanted to set it at five, I do that, and that hole reduces to that size, and I'd only get four or five sweets out. Whereas if I do it like that, I'd probably get ten sweets out of the same hole. Now that, what also is important here, is that that has to be at 12 o'clock. This has to be at 12 o'clock. So it's very important, if you don't do it at 12 o'clock, you can flick the sweets out without putting any money in because you'll have two holes, you'll have these two like that, and, and so you must do it at 12 o'clock. Then comes the brush housing, which is this chappy here, and this bit faces the front. If you do it the other way around like that, all the sweets will drop through free of charge. So it's important to get that round the right way. Then comes the adapter ring. This has got a little finger slot on it on that end, so that fits that way round with it lining up with these two little holes here. Then comes the globe. This is a new globe and I've got to line the holes up that are there with the little lugs that are on the top of the globe. So that's like that, like that. So these two lugs here are lined up with the holes down below. And then I'm going to put this metal ring on the top with the two holes in it, making sure it's fitting comfortably in these four little lugs. Drop those down, line them up on the hole, twist them just so that they start off. Get the drill the right way around. Don't over tighten them otherwise you'll split the plastic close. As soon as it starts to grip, let go. Then the, the lid goes on and it clicks on nice and firmly. And last would be the lock. And that's it, all finished.